James Weaver, who was um, one one of the producers along with Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg, um, has been really excited about this script for a very long time. He, um, we had made 50-50, I'd made, I directed 50-50 for the guys, and uh, we wanted to work together again, we had a great experience, and he showed me this script, I think I was directing Warm Bodies at the time, and I wasn't um, quite ready to commit, although I did love the writing of it. And then I think Seth, Seth was attached, and he said, you know, the only reason this movie would be worth making is if we can get Charlize Theron. And once they got Charlize, um, they again showed me the script, and I just picturing the two of them. It was it was it was a, too uh, amazing an opportunity to pass up. Working with them was just a dream. Like I I, I knew we're, you know Seth and I have done two movies together, so I kind of knew what that was going to be, and I it was, we've always had very positive experiences. Um, and just adding Charlize to the mix. Like it forced us to up our game a little bit just because she is so associated with such quality movies. We really wanted to kind of do right by her. Um, and also she's just so relentless in her pursuit of greatness that it really um, forced us to, to, to really step it up. And uh, so I think the three of us really created like a very, very cool collaborative um, energy on set. And she just, you know, she's not, they're both not just actors in the movie, they're producers and incredible storytellers. So just having them as sort of a, a supportive, collaborative, uh, team really, really made it exciting and really made my job a lot easier. Yeah, I mean, that was one of the really exciting things for me about making a romantic movie, a uh, romantic comedy, is that, you know, some of the greatest moments in romantic comedies are music-based, you know, whether it be Pretty Woman or whether it be some of the movies of Cameron Crowe, those are the things I was really excited about doing because I just love putting music, kind of matching music to scenes. And so we were able to, you know, we had this slot in the beginning of the movie for a band to play this party and we were able to get Boys to Men. Um, and what was so exciting about that is, you know, so much of this movie is about this, the nostalgia of remembering who you were when you were young and idealistic and how to sort of get back to that pure version of yourself. And so the pop culture of the 90s, which is like a shared thing that Charlize and myself and Seth had, um, can be like a big component of uh, the movie, whether we're making references to 90210 or using songs from that era. So the opportunity to get Boys to Men, um, who was like when I was, you know, in seventh grade was like my favorite band. It was one of the first CDs I ever bought. Um, and just to watch them on set was like, when they started playing It's So Hard to Say Goodbye yesterday, I had to like turn away because I was like, <laughs> tears were pouring down my face, which is not a good look for the director. They want, you know, people want to think you're like kind of on top of your shit. Anyway, and then um, as far as, um, as far as like the other music in the movie, a lot of it was kind of, we have a, an amazing music supervisor, but a lot of it I really like to handpick. And so I will spend hours just like going through my iTunes and just like trying songs and listening to them and thinking about whether they'd match up really well with picture. And so a lot of my favorite songs in the movie uh, came about that way.